Well, this is it. You yoik. If Hammond drives into May's car, Bruce Willis will come in a State Department gunship and we shall all be killed. The big question was, which would arrive first, Summer or James May? Where? This way, this is like a bodybuilder, right? Hugely impressive, but when you take its trunks down, it's hello, Mr. Squ... What do you mean you put it in a melon? Sorry. I think Koenigsegg is Swedish for... Oh, no! My head's just exploded! Yeah, well, you might... I That's thought... an AK-47. I know, I thought I might need it. Why? A weekend in a box with James May, and I thought, what am I going to need? Well, yes. There are only two seats rather than the more usual three, but there is enough space for people with heads. I mean, you'd be f In recent weeks, a craving for nicotine has made me angry with everything, even trees. It's just completely the wrong colour. What's this? It's a twig. Why? Why is it there? Look at it! Lip of stuff. I don't like manual labour. I lost the battle to have two engines on the back for three very good reasons. One, weight. This is 600 pounds, and that's the same as having a whole American sitting on the tailgate. Hey, you know that um, young uh, Russian business kid who bought TBR a, a couple of years ago? Yeah. Yeah, we got a picture of him here at a business meeting. Um, oh, yeah, there he is. There. <laughs> You must drive your amphibious cars, yours isn't, to... Meanwhile, we were still thinking of things we weren't supposed to do. To do. Evening. One observation I would have. Yes. Sailing. Really boring. Nothing <laughs> for the rest of the car to do. Yeah, that's all very clever. That is the modern way. As Victor Meldrew droned on, we plunged deeper into North Carolina. Fantastic. I think that's one of the best-looking cars that will be coming out next year. <laughs> no, you got it no, this year. year. This <laughs> race! <laughs> Manual? Semi-automatic? Oh, these are the weapons. <laughs> well, what if somebody sees us? I don't think they will. I can hear the discussion that the photographer had, actually, with the director. He said, is the light good for you? And he said, no, there still is sun. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, not that. Stick, give me the cock. Stick, give me the cock. You've lost <laughs> both cocks. <laughs> Have you got his <laughs> cock? Some of it. Some say that his first name really is the... And that if he went on Celebrity Love Island, they'd all be pregnant, including the cameramen. <laughs> They hadn't lined it up in the factory, but I have now, brilliantly. It's just not necessary. If you want... The moaning went on. What was wrong with being a Cadillac? It's supposed to be soft and floaty. You're supposed to not know you're driving. Let's be around the Nürburgring, and sending a car around the Nürburgring spoils it. I worked in a lot of radio stations for not very long. What are you doing? Always the best of reasons. Say so, yes, I worked here when. Talk worked. about the exhibition. And um, I, I have fond memories of working here. Nobody's interested in your bloody memories. Bored, 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 boring, boring, dull, tedious, annoying, backache, arm ache, cramp, miserable. The driving position's all wrong, and if you have a manual, the clutch is stupid. James, are you still working on that thing? Yes. Do you want to go on this? No. It's great once you got the hang of it. No. No, yeah, that's it, Chef. I'll Actually, go. I'm a bit bored with this the gockical. Excuse I'm going to go and introduce Jeremy's film on the BMW X6. Now, normally, of course, he would go and drive it in a sewer or blow it up or something like that. Unfortunately, Richard Hammond spent most of what we had left on his... <laughs> <laughs> um... James, really, do this two ways. We'll edit it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. OK. Cover yourself. A car I'm really looking forward to is the new Saab 95. There it is. A car I was looking forward to was the new Saab 95. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was going to look no, they like. Said, they, they said. Say, they said. What? They said. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. They say, uh, or said, that it's uh, based on a jet fighter, or was, but it isn't, wasn't. Um, <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Anyway. That'll drive you insane. Insert diesel fuel. Insert diesel fuel. <laughs> Entertain yourselves. <laughs> I think 
think you've made it. You've made it angry. If I've got to set up my differential. Three settings. Yeah, all want, sports. That's the one. Uh, DSC directional. That's my traction control. Traction on that control. On. You want that off? Yeah. Power. Yeah, well, you're going to need power. Whatever it is, just push it. Right. Now I'm gear deeper. the Porsche could win this. Apart from anything else, it's got the carbon ceramic brake option, which, yeah, costs five grand, but all four weigh less than one steel brake disc, and they never fade. James, you're While the midget and the pedant drove on to that night's hotel... You can't even see where he's going. I'm not going to see anything if you keep poking that in my eyeball. <laughs> not a word! Do not say a word you lost. I promise I'm not going to say a thing. Nothing. You lost fair and square. I, came, I loved this car so much. I came back from that and I actually ordered one. Yep, you did. And yep. I've got a... That is, in fact, a life-size radio-controlled car. Soz, mate. Idiot. Not that you're going to be looking in your rear-view mirror very much, because this thing churns out 550 brake horsepower. And that's a lot. No, it isn't. Now, we've been told that in this new series, we've got to feature more green cars. So, uh, here's one. <laughs> how can he need more? Have you noticed how his right bicep is now slightly bigger than his left one? <laughs> Have you also noticed that when he fills his car up, he stands like a teapot? <laughs> Eventually, we made it onto the Champs Elysees, where we were joined by a man on a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, now you see, what happened here is with the police, to really nice policemen, they really were, and they said they were, they got better things to do really than deal with three middle class boys chained to a bus, <laughs> and would be mind going away. So uh, this, this is what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I hate to say it, but I can only assume he's broken down. Should we go back and look for him? Or we could go to the QI club and have a drink? Let me put it to you this way. <laughs> Why quite that simple, because we're now at a pressure altitude at only 7,000 feet, so you have to consider the true airspeed. Indicated airspeed is what you fly on, that's the rate at which the air is hitting the aeroplane. But because it's thinner up here, we're actually going through the air faster than us. The pre-flight checks had taken so long, but by the time they'd left Italian tarmac, I was leaving Italy itself. I'd arrived back in Britain half an hour in front of Ginger and Algy, but... I bought him a present. What is it? Oh, yeah. It's a baseball Perfect. cap, James. Yeah. Keep your hair in check. Busy. Well. Look, just have it at a jaunty angle, like a school cap. The oil temperature is very high, the oil pressure is very low, the engine temperature is off the end of the scale, I'm running out of petrol, but the clock is correct. And so, on the dot of just after 23 minutes past two, while James was looking the other way, the race began. Yep, car-friendly Switzerland, and sure enough, they'd sent a welcome party. On. The worst car in the world to try and drive through Paris is a supercar. It is like driving a post box. See, I've got a truck here now, and I only know that because I can hear it. Next, it was my Ferrari. So far, the most reliable car of the day. Oh, the mirror's just come off. Um. And then there's the big one. Look, I fit in the back easily. Tons of space to spare. And if you peer through here, then you find it has the big boot. So if you go... The bonnet is eating my head. To make sure you don't put it down accidentally, you have to use the ignition key in this slot here. So that now, when you get cracking, the spoiler doesn't come up. And the whole car hunkers down on the road, makes it very slippery, and you can get to the top speed. But before you can do that, Volkswagen say, you have to do some checks. No idea what these checks might be, so, um... Seems fine. 
I am normally in this kind of car you get one or the other but rarely both you just pull a little tab down here and they fold completely flat and then you just pull it it's really the greenest car we could find, really. Now available with a 2.2-litre diesel engine offering 45 miles per gallon and at a price of £17,500. That's not very interesting. No, that Inside, we made pleasant small talk about driving through Oxford, but it was hard to ignore the empty chair at our table. Come on! You see? Did you see that? Did you see that? I was damn nearly knocked down by a cyclist. This is utterly, utterly, utterly stupid.